Hello, it's Steve Rizzetti, co-founder of MoviePicks.com and author of the MoviePicks.com Guide to Vegas Movie Studio Platinum. And this is part seven of our eight-part series, Basic Training with Movie Studio Platinum. Now, we have got a fairly good movie project going here. It's time to add some titles to it. There are a number of ways to add titles in Vegas Movie Studio Platinum. The simple and most basic is you can just right-click on an empty spot on your timeline and select insert text media that will create just kind of a basic generic media generator title which you can type in and you can apply text styles to and colors and position you can do an awful lot in fact by doing that now you notice that it's up here at the very top of the video media generators panel it says it is a vegas titles and text title and i'll tell you what that means in just a second here let me delete that title from our timeline and let's go over to the tab in the upper left hand corner called media generators now there are a couple of media generators media generators can be used to create a number of effects and graphics so we've got checkerboard and color gradient and noise and solid color but three of these are dedicated to creating titles now this one, Titles and Text, is going to create what we just did when we right clicked on the timeline. This is your generic Titles and Text, and by generic I don't mean to be pejorative here because these are tremendous. Look how many different types there are that are preset for you. A number of these are preset with animation, and you can see as you hover over them what that animation looks like. Earthquake animation, making your letters shake, it's kind of cool. Now, you can apply any one of these you want to the timeline by dragging it down there. And once it's dragged down there, you can still select from any of these presets by going up here to the preset menu. These are the same ones you'll see in the media generator panel. So you can see there's our earthquake and coming at you and all these other preset animations. Let's go ahead and select earthquake. And you can type in whatever you want. We can call this California. And once we've selected it, we can change its color. We can change its font, font size, of course, all of these things. And we can make these changes either right here in the panel or by simply dragging right on the preview window itself. Now, there are so many things you can do with these basic templates, not just working with the templates itself and their presets, but there's so much customization you can do. I dedicate entire chapters in the book on working with these, including creating your own animations by using these little buttons here to the right of any one of the attributes to your title. As I said, there are three basic categories of titles. Uh, these are pretty cool. I'm just gonna close this and play this and you'll see that these titles and text often have a preset animation to them, which is kind of fun. There's also one called Legacy Text. These Legacy Texts were the original titles designed for the old Vegas program. And uh, they're oldies, but they're goodies. And there's a lot of cool stuff you can do with them too. If I drag one of them down to the timeline, you can see that once I create my text, I have some options for where the text is placed. And I can animate that also. There's an animation button here in the lower left of the panel. Or create warp shapes or color changes or make the background transparent or solid whatever i want to do and finally there's a credit roll credit rolls as you might expect are for creating credit rolls and as with any one of the title templates has some very cool presets in there so let's drag it down there and there are sort of three different little templates for each of the lines there's the title text and that'll run down the center of the screen there's a subtitle and then there's left and right items all we need to do is just select one like this and double click on it we can call this california adventure subtitle at the big one and then i can add the uh, credits here for each of the actors in it these are also infinitely customizable so for instance if you don't want to make this be individual columns you can click on it here and select and have it be in the format of the header or the subheader likewise you could take the subheader and turn it into a column if you'd like there are ways to customize it i go into detail in the book how to do that and there are lots of cool things you can do including importing uh, pre-type titles from a word document or a text document into the program so you don't have to type them in manually but when it's all done, here's how our scroll looks. There it is scrolling up the screen. 
interesting either. Pretty cool. So there's a lot you can do with titles, even if you use them right out of the box. A lot of powerful things, but you can infinitely customize them too. And once we've got our titles into our movie, our movie is pretty much done here. So we are ready to output it. And that is what we're going to do in part eight of our eight part series here. And I hope you join me for part eight of basic training with Vegas Movie Studio Platinum. I'm Steve Grizzetti. Thanks.